Hey guys, this is a video demonstration of the Test Electronics 18 inch prober style test fixture. Now the unique thing about this fixture is it contains three boards which are all interconnected and each of these three boards have a unique feature that I wanted to show you. Now this board here has this LCD display that, that sits on the board like this. The trouble is there's test pins underneath this display so in order to probe them what we do is we hang this display straight down and then we can probe underneath here and what would be underneath this flex cable here when it was all folded up. So that it just goes right in the fixture just like this. It drops right in here and that's how you, this is probed. Now you can probe up underneath this LCD display. This board here has a design flaw that you want to try to avoid with a large board like this. It's got 30 mil center to center spacing on some of these test pins. And the reason that's bad is because these, this board uh, can hit the pins on the side and bend them. They're small pins and you don't want to do that. What we've done to protect the pins is put some larger pins around the small pins just to create kind of a fence around it. But basically you want to try, when you have a larger board like this, not to go as small as 30 mil center to center. Try to stick to 50 or more. Now this board here is a common thing. It has uh, large parts on the back side, USB connector and a uh, keyboard style round connector. Now, uh, what we do for that is we simply cut out reliefs in the bed of nails plate where those parts will drop into. And this happens a lot with capacitors or any high component that sticks up like that. So this then just drops right straight down into those holes. So that's how those boards sit in there. And then you just press it down. There's 200 test pins. You can press it down with one finger because of the 50 to 1 multiplication factor of this lever latch. Uh, so it's that easy to test. So now let me go over some uh, methods for you to work with this uh, test fixture. I'll take these circuit boards out of here and get them out of the way. Now what I want to do first is show you how if you were to move some components around the outside edge, as you see these press the boards down by the outside edge. If you were to move some components around that outside edge or make the components larger, you'd need to cut out around the outside edge. So you'd have to take this press plate off. And you might think, oh no, I'm going to have to take a bunch of screws out, realign it and everything. Well, you don't. You just pull out this hinge pin just like that and it comes right out. Now you can put this in a mill and route out all these, machine out all these edges, parts that you might have bigger. And then all you do is you put it right back in, put your hinge pin straight through, and you're back working again. It's that easy to take the press plate out and modify it. Now for the bed of nails plate, uh, let's start with the wiring. If you wanted to change the wiring, you wouldn't need to take the bed of nails plate out. You would just remove this bottom cover here and work on the wiring. So the bottom cover comes out with just two screws here and here. It lifts right out. And now you have access to all the wiring inside the fixture. All your wiring. Now here you can see where it's going from board to board and then some of the wiring is going up to this connector block. Now this customer has elected to put their power supply, their data acquisition boards, and all their signal conditioning boards in the fixture themselves. So we just provided them with a connector block so that they can connect up to all the test pins uh, conveniently. And we've also provided them with a way to mount some of their hardware here. So this is a specific mounting plate tailor made to their fixture. Uh, we can tailor these to any fixture. Every fixture will come with four places to mount. The front panel, inside the two side panels, and up here in the back panel. And for this customer, we also put two USB ports that they wanted and an IEC connector right here. And we left this middle plate blank for them to mount whatever they want in there. So let me show you a little better how to mount things in this fixture. I'll start by removing the side plate because that's one of the places to, to mount something like a power supply. Uh, things on the side plate can dissipate a little bit more wattage than on the inside because the air can flow right up through the side. And also we can put fins on the side plate too. 
uh, fins sticking out here, which will dissipate even more wattage. Currently, with just a flat space, you could mount a power supply on here. It would dissipate. Uh, temperature rise would be 1 degree Celsius per half watt. So 20 watts would be a 40 degree Celsius temperature rise. So if you put a 100 watt power supply in here that was 80% efficient, dissipated 20 watts, uh, you'd get a 40 degree Celsius rise on this outside here with just uh, conventional airflow going up. If you put fins on it, it goes uh, 2 watts per degree centigrade. So that's, that's, what, that's an option you have for mounting the side. Uh, the press or the, the front panel here, you can mount anything inside, displays, switches, whatever you like. The back panel you can see a little better now. And now let me show you this inside panel right here. I will remove that. There's nine screws to remove. Uh, all have been removed except for three. So I'm making it faster for me to do the video, that's all that is. So I'll remove those and lift this plate out. It just lifts right out, just like this. And it's just a flat piece of sheet metal where you could drill and you could put screws, uh, nuts on the back. There's a little bit of room on the back to put nuts and mount all the stuff you need. And then you can just put it right back in here. Let me put the nuts back in. Let me show you just a second. That's doing. It's mounting right in here, and I'll just put the nuts back in, but then this will be here. Now the idea is that this is here and the bed of nails plate can lift out the back side. And I'll show you that in a bit. So let me put these nuts back on here to hold that down while I turn this fixture around. back in. Let's put the side plate back in. And we'll put the, the back, front and back, the, we put the bottom screws on first, and which are really the top screws because it's upside down, and then we'll put these uh, side screws in second, and that's the way it aligns the best when you do it in that order. Bottom screws first, side screws second. Okay, both inside plate, side plate are back on now. Now I can turn this over, and I'll show you how to remove the bed of nails plate. Now that's the neat thing about this whole fixture design and why these internal plates are here, so that nothing is connected to this bed of nails plate except for the wires, the connector block, and the test pins. And you want to do that so that you can remove it and replace it because the circuit board is going to change. You're going to have updates and you're going to eventually probably replace the entire thing but there will be a few times where you'll just want to lift this out like this and drill a few holes in here. So now you can put it in a, in a mill and uh, locate your coordinates, drill the holes you need and then turn it around, wire it up to this connector block right here and then just drop it right back in. Or make a complete new one and drop it in. It just drops right in here. Let me get that. Right like that. And you put the four screws in. and tighten it back down. So it's that easy to remove and replace the bed of nails plate. The only thing you need to do is, is pull out all the wires from the connectors in the back. And I like to tighten these down in a crisscross fashion so that everything kind of self-aligns. And that's it. That's how you take apart, update, and work with the Test Electronics 18 inch prober style test fixtures. And this prober fixture is available in 8 inch, 10, 12, 14, 18, all the way up to 24 in 2 inch increments. 
If you found this video informative and you want to see more videos like this, there are more available at testelectronics.com. Thanks for watching.